Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about preventing injuries. Before I get into that topic, I encourage you to stick around to the end of this video, find out how you can reach the big, hairy, ugly dude with your questions and or comments. So guys, I have four, four, four ways to prevent injuries in the gym. So let's get into them. The first one is improving your form. I can't tell you how many guys I've seen over the year, guys and girls, who come onto forums or lifting communities and say, I have very good form. Guys, form is something you work on over time. It's something that is never perfect. It's like fundamentals in a sport. You have to constantly be working to improve them. Your form, if you think your form is good enough, it probably isn't good enough. And I say that uh, via experience. I can't tell you how many people I have seen that said, I have good form, and when you see their videos, it's not good form. At least 95% of people that say that do not have good form. You need to constantly be working on form. Get on YouTube and study some of the best advice from the top coaches. Seek out articles on exercise form, especially the big lifts, and don't assume your form is good. Always, always be working on improving your form. That's a great way of preventing injuries. So guys, point number two, two. Stop a workout when something is wrong. When I go into the gym and my hamstring, if I get like two or three sets in, uh, into squats and my hamstring is like, something's wrong here. Not a major injury, but just some kind of a strain or unusual pain that is making the exercise awkward. You know what I do, kids? I stop the workout or I stop working that body part. No exceptions, end of story. I cut my losses and get out of the gym. I, uh, I have a bodybuilding friend, Mr. North Carolina, Joe O'Roblo, who went into the gym once, started warming up on, I believe, sumo deadlifts. Something didn't feel right. And you know what he did? He made the mistake of continuing to pull heavy, and he tore both of his quads. So guys, the point here is when you go into the gym and something is definitely not right that day in a muscle, you need to shut down your workout. Don't continue to beat yourself up. And I'm not talking about little aches and pains here, kids. I'm talking about an unusual uh, stress or strain or uh, an unusual pain in a muscle. That happens occasionally. When that does, you need to stop your workout. Cut your losses. Save it for the next time, kids. So, kids, point numero three -o. Uh Never max out on a new exercise or new exercise variation. One of my huge pet peeves is going into the log section of a forum or checking out YouTube and seeing somebody say, hey, I just tried this exercise for the first time and went for a max. Guys, that's madness. Don't do that. A new exercise is going to create new demands on the body. You don't know what to expect. Sumo deadlifts are nothing like conventional deadlifts. Wide stance squats are nothing like narrow stance squats. A wide grip bench press or a close grip bench press is nothing like a regular bench press. Take your time, get the feel for this exercise, ease into it, and whatever you do, don't be trying to set a max the first time you try a new exercise. That is a good way to get hurt. And lastly, kids, point number four, how to prevent injuries. I'm going to read from my little word doc here. Don't punish your body. Train for progression first, not pain first. Little more volume rather than a little less volume. It's a long journey. The point here, kids, is a lot of you guys are in it for instant gains, and that's that that's great that you have that motivation. But you also have to understand that you love lifting and you want to be lifting when you're 60. You want to be that guy or that girl that looks great when you're 60. You got to take care of your body. Sometimes doing a little bit less is better than doing a little bit more. Don't go in the gym and try to kill yourself, okay? Go in the gym and try to make 
progress. Try to make improvements. That's not saying you don't work hard, kids, but you don't want to train specifically for pain and try to kill yourself. That's a good way to mess up your joints and, uh, and uh, you know, create extra recovery demands that will add up over time. The hardest, hardest points in my training career to recover from were those times where I was really pushing for more volume and uh, training for pain. So I encourage you to just do a little bit less on the volume scale rather than a little bit more. Don't train for pain. Train for gains, kids. Train for gains. Over time, all that good muscle and strength will add up. Don't kill yourself or do ridiculous stunts in the gym. None of that tomfoolery, kids. None of that tomfoolery. So, guys, that is my spielage for the day. If you have any questions or comments regarding this information on preventing injuries, I encourage you to go to that link that resides below. See below these big old fat fingers, kids? There is a link to a forum. It is a Q&A, my Q&A. I will answer your questions on training, diet, supplementation, anything you want. So come on over, kids. Don't be shy. It's a happy land with happy people. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a good day.